I still remember you had like those avatars up on your wall. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. You did. So I never got to visit your class. I keep having to explain to people how to spell my blog name. I'm like 13th. <laughs> I'm like, what? 13th. I'm like, 13th. My name is Penny Lam. I'm a teacher with the York Region District School Board. I've been recently promoted to vice principal. And with that role, I'm also an instructional leader in my building, leading the learning and also leading the teaching that happens within. The name of my blog is 13look.com and it really is an amalgamation of the three passions that I have in my life. And the first one definitely is education and my educational leadership. Uh, the second would be my 18-month-old daughter, so I'm also a new mom. And then the third, which really ties everything together because my blog really is centered on style. So fashion and style is, is the last thing that pulls everything together. For me, that's all I need to. If I, if I know there's literally only one person that I'll still blog, do it. Yeah. Exactly. My name is Royan Lee, and I'm a teacher and educator in the York Region District School Board. I am currently a consultant, so I'm out of the classroom for a couple of years working with administrators and new teachers and their mentors to help them in their professional growth as well as their school improvement plans. My blog is called The Spicy Learning Blog and uh, on it you'll see me blogging about pedagogy, in other words learning, as well as parenting, as well as just me just being me. Well, some cultures think 13, um, 13 is uh, My name is Joanne Marie Babalis. I'm a teacher. I'm also a PhD student at York University. There I teach kindergarten teachers as an AQ instructor. And I'm also a blogger and I like to post my learning and insights through my blog. The name of my blog is Transform Ed, transforming our learning environment into a space of possibilities. It really is a place where educators could come and visit for early childhood education. I'm inspired by the Reggio Emilia approach to early childhood from Italy and I share inquiry and creativity as much as I possibly can. So during my mat leave, I felt like I was quite confined at home and while being at home taking care of my baby girl, I started to look at different bloggers and follow their journey and follow their writing and it really inspired me because I felt that I had um, a lot to say and I wanted to share that and also be a part of a, another community without having to leave my home and I guess that's where it all started. I started my blog in 2009 after uh, somebody mentioned to me that they noticed uh, a video that I'd done with the Ontario Ministry of Education online. And I, I first thought to myself, wow, how did someone find me online? And then uh, I noticed that it was on their blog. So that piqued my interest because I've always seen myself as a writer or an aspiring writer. And I loved media creation. So one day I just sat down and started blogging. How about you guys? How did it start? Um, I learned about blogs in my undergrad. I got into blogging actually by accident. I was in one of my courses sharing how excited I was about researching on early childhood education and one of my colleagues said, why don't you just blog about that? You're really into technology, share what you're doing with others and perhaps it could be a chance for you to reflect on where you started and where you're hoping to go. And now it's become a hobby and a passion of my own. The correlation between my blog and all of the aspects of my life are that it's, um, it's definitely a space where I can chronicle my experiences not only in education but um, of being a new mom and through that I think I discovered a lot of other individuals that kind of are on the same journey as me where their life has changed and they're trying to rediscover themselves. Um, when people come to my blog whether it's a parent, a student or a colleague or a distant educator that I'll never even run into I basically hope that it inspires them that it, it helps them also rethink a few things. I hope that I can continue to inspire other educators to visit the space and learn from some of my ideas, but never do I want them to feel as though I'm sharing the right way or in a sense of being an expert, but instead a place to begin somewhere to start their own journey and hopefully even begin blogging. Um, when I first started this blog, it really was writing for myself and I guess 
having an area where I can express all my thoughts, my feelings, my life, little bits and pieces of the things that my daughter does that are amazing and I want to share. But the other part is I really hope to be reaching more readers and hopefully they find themselves in a state of change too and my blog is a, an area where we can bond.